All right, thank you, Raquel. Joining us now here on Midday Live is Whitney Mosley and Kayleen Labor. They are here to tell us a little bit about Gypsy Moon Marketplace. Thank you both for being here today. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah so Gypsy Moon Marketplace, kind of tell us, if we're not familiar with it, what it's all about. So we have about 80 vendors that come into our event venue, Highland Stables, mm -hmm. and here in Bowling Green. And we've got handmade, homemade, antique, food, live music. So it's just a whole event rather than just shopping. Yeah, it's almost like a party, it seems. Exactly, so, yeah. All right. Uh, Kayleen, uh, what Highland Stables, how long have you all been uh, involved with uh, Gypsy Moon Marketplace? And uh, what does it mean to the community itself? Yes, yeah, so Gypsy Moon Marketplace was founded in 2015 by Whitney and her mother-in-law, Angie. Um, I came on around 2017 and been helping out full time. Um, but we've been doing the event. This will be our ninth year. Ninth almost year. Tenth year. Yeah, wow. almost. Yeah, yeah. we've got a big year next year. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. gonna be awesome for sure. So you say like you know multiple vendors, lots yes. of lots of food, yes. music, stuff like that. Um, what can people uh, kind of expect if they've never actually been there before? So obviously shopping. There's gonna be live music. We'll have plenty of um, sorry. Um, Vintage items yeah. and handmade items, stuff for Mother's Day, uh, floral outfits, like all the things that you can think of. And even it benefits men too because yeah. we'll have a handmade knife guy there. And so he just really cool stuff. So yeah. it's something for everyone, kids, adults, everyone. Yeah, mm -hmm. early Father's Day gifts. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. All right. Um, so why should someone come shop at uh, Gypsy Moon Marketplace uh, in particular? So not only are you helping small business owners that are setting up at Gypsy Moon, like that was just here a little right. bit ago. How ironic. Um, they'll be there with us this weekend, so they help with parking. But a portion of the proceeds do, do go towards them um, okay. from this weekend. All right. And what kind of brought that partnership together? Um, well, we just really love what they do for the community and mm -hmm. being able to help out families in need is something that's important to us yeah. and obviously important to Life's Better Together. And yeah. so what better way to encourage people to come shop is by helping out a cause too. So, yeah. yeah. Skill free shopping. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I know people should probably bring money if they want to yes. if they want to indulge in some shopping and whatnot. Yes. Uh, but does it cost anything to actually get in? Yes. So right now we are offering tickets online, and those are ten dollars okay. each. And if you come to the gate, it's going to be fifteen. So it's cheaper to buy online. So yep. we encourage people gypsymarketplace.com. Yeah. Buy your tickets. All right. And so I know it's taking place the twenty sixth and twenty seventh. Yes. Is that right? Yes. All right. So um, what are there going to be something on those different days that people can look forward to? So we've got shopping sessions. So we break up our shopping into okay. different sessions. We have three on Friday and two on Saturday. Yep. Each one we've got um, musicians coming and mm -hmm. um, some demos yes. are gonna be happening yep. during some of the sessions. So we've got something happening during each of the shopping sessions. All right, and in over the nine to 10 years that you all have been putting this on, uh, what's been some of the most rewarding experiences uh, throughout your time? Seeing it help the small businesses and getting their names out. Yep. You know, yes. a lot of people put their heart and soul into what they do to yep. let their creativity out. And so it's really rewarding for us to be able to see them connect with the shoppers and build those relationships. Right. And grow their business. I really like that it's become a tradition for a lot of people. Yes. So like mm -hmm. grandmothers, mothers, daughters, they're coming together and making this an annual and a biannual thing since we do host it twice a year. Mm -hmm. So they're coming every single time as a group and you know, setting time. We have people travel from very far away to come to the show too. So that's yeah. really cool to see how far our reach is. That's yeah. amazing. Do you guys know how far the furthest person that somebody's come from? Um, we have, I know some people are flying in from California. We have oh, people coming right. from Florida, Colorado, York, yeah. mm -hmm. so all over. And we have vendors from all over too, which we love yeah. to support local, but we also are bringing in some different vendors that the local, you know, that is different, you know, yeah. that you won't see every time. All right, that sounds amazing for sure. Thank you both so much for being here. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully uh, you all be, are able to attend the Gypsy Moon Marketplace. It is this Friday and Saturday, and tickets are just $10 online, or you can get them at the gate for $15. So you might want to choose the former rather than the latter. <laughs> for tickets and information, you might want to go to gypsymoonmarketplace.com, and we'll be right back.